All right, why don't you talk us through this uh, this 800 here? Yeah, so the 800 this year has been a little hit and miss, more misses than hits. But the race that we had right after our podcast yesterday was pretty wild. It started off, um, well, this is the ending finish. But look at this kick out in lane, what, four or five? It was crazy. But first, let's, let's take a little look back at how it started. If you go to the beginning of the race, can we do that? Uh, whoever, whoever's producing the, uh, the YouTube channel, the YouTube video, go to the beginning of the race. Way beginning. This is the beginning of the second lap. Go all the way to the beginning of the, of the race. Keep going. Way beginning. All right. Yeah, right there. Right there. So watch this. So there are like 20 people in this race which is not normal for an 800. And Max Bergen, who was kind of the favorite, gets in a little scuffle here. Look at that push off. And you think, all right, we're going to get something a little chaotic because typically you don't put 20 people on the track in an 800. It's kind of like a high school race. Uh, Bergen tries to hold on. He basically runs the entire second lap by himself. He looked like he was falling apart, but when... Nigel Amos tried to make the pass. Bergen was able to hold him off, which was impressive. But at the end of the day, it was the two kickers who were back in like fifth and sixth place who stole the show. Notably, the 17-year-old who had a wild kick. So like, look at this. So he is in one, two, three, four, five. He's in seventh place with like 80 meters to go. Look for the man in... Yellow shorts. He had a mismatched top. He had like a 2018 top with a 2021 bottom. It was, mm -hmm. he was not dressed to impress, but he was running fast. And just watch yellow shorts. So we'll push play. Look at him. Yellow shorts, still back. And then he just like, boom, out of a canyon and almost takes the win. Doesn't get the victory, but. Does kind of turn some heads. Is like, hey, who is this guy? Look him up. His name is Slaman Mula. He mm -hmm. was born in 1999. Very young. What do you think about this kid? Slaman. Well, he's Mula. not as young as Wanyoni. The guy who won yeah. is 17. So Mula's not yeah, that young. I messed yeah, up was, who the 17 year old was. So he's what? what um, He's 146 before this year, Mula. Wanyoni we knew about because he won World Juniors, but you're right. Yeah. Mula is more of an unknown runner. He's, he's he had Algeria. run one, Algeria, yeah. Um, 146. He had run a lot of 400s before this year. Um, so maybe that accounts for the improvement. But it's just – this race is so hard to figure out this year. I mean – is a 17-year-old, 18-year-old going to win it? Is that what we're destined to see? No, a guy I think who this hasn't... guy. I think this Algerian is going to win it. I really? think he's going to win okay. gold. The, the way that kick, man, on that pace, he's going to learn. I think he's going to win. I know that sounds crazy, but Slaman Mula from Algeria is going to be your 2022 world champion, according to me. I think right now it's so early. And the time You've been saying it's so early impressive. every day for your entire life. What's going on? It's not early anymore. I know. It's June. Well, I was, it literally I was, is June. We're not. The 800 has been so not spectacular that we're just jumping at the first shiny object that we see. So I'm not going to give this guy Fair enough. the gold based on a kick in a race that he didn't even win. I'm not going to give it to Wanyoni either, although he's he's number one, I think, now for sure. Because this is his first race outside of Kenya, literally. So I think experience does matter for something. Do you know who's still in not that bad of a position right now? Who? Donovan Brazier. Because we That's still true. haven't seen that fast of a time. No idea what sort of form Brazier's in, but I mean, what about Zahafi, the collegian? Who ran 140. The world lead is coming from the Florida relays, Gordon. When's the last time that's happened? In the 800? I don't know. Is that, Never? is that, am I wrong? That's Florida relays weekend, right? 
And he ran that? Yeah. Yeah. And part of me wants Tim to hold it all the way through. So Florida Relays will have the crown of fastest 800 of 2021. I just, I think we're so early days still in the 800. There's going to be like 10 other plot twists. Because 800 is always crazy. Even when we think we know what's going on. On and now we're just like learning people's names and being like, "Yep, that's the that's the gold medalist." <laughs> yep, that's it right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm putting all my chips on Mula. All right, it's yeah, it's I'm Mula, have a, right? Mula, yeah. your, your your money, your money. Yeah, there you go. yeah, that's where I'm going. On. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a race breakdown on this one uh, later on today as well too. Although you took a lot of my points, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to make them even better. Just do it again. Yeah, but like this is what Gordon said, but uh, I'm gonna right up back. it. Yeah, uh, Felix ran.